Well, it's time for What They Really Think. It's a new segment where we take a look at the semi-private words of our country's premier journalists and see how those words align with their goal of being neutral purveyors of fact. Our first star is Terry Moran. He's chief foreign correspondent for ABC News, whose Twitter feed resembles a DNC press release with added moral outrage. Don't believe us? Here are some examples. Quote, upset Trump didn't destroy ISIS within days of taking office. Moran tweeted this, I thought Trump already had a secret plan to destroy ISIS. What happened to it? After the president's immigration order, Moran wrote, For 70 years and more, American science has triumphed because the USA got the best minds in the world. Now that's at risk. Thanks, Trump. He also said, quote, Trump's NSC chief son declares exactly what this is, a Muslim ban, whatever weasel words his father and Trump's minions come up with. In another tweet, he simply labeled Trump President Snowflake. Moran was in near religious ecstasy over the Women's March two weeks ago, tweeting this, has there ever been a day when so many people in so many places marched in solidarity for a cause? V.E. Day? This is historic. Moran felt a tingle down his leg when the New York Times announced it had hit 3 million subscribers. He tweeted this, failing? Not. In response to Trump's comments downplaying the violence of Vladimir Putin's government in Russia, just today, Moran moaned, somewhere Ronald Reagan weeps. And that's what he really thinks, no matter what he tells you on TV.